Good morning guys and welcome to episode 26 of Summer Shredding. Now, I'm going to have to admit something here. I did miss my um, alarm this morning. I don't even think I said it. I will have to check up on that. I'm looking for my shoes. I'm in a rush. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't work out this morning. Which I think is good in a sense because my body is a bit shattered from that illness that I've had. So, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to cry over spilt milk as they say. I'm really looking for my shoes. Where did I put these things? Um, are they here? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress too much about it, but I'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't happen again. I'm feeling a lot better, so maybe that was because of the sleep. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna talk about a few things today, but I'm gonna wait until after work for that. So I'll speak to you guys, maybe on lunch, maybe after work. So guys, I'm on my lunch and I got a coffee. Now, coffee is something that I do actually miss, um, but I've managed to get myself a black coffee so that I'm able to have what I like and still stay on track of my macros. Black coffee, just water, I think it's about between, I think it's maximum 10 calories, so I'm not gonna bother counting this, because, well, I'm just not gonna bother. There's no point in it. Um, there's no point in it being ridiculously that strict. 10 calories isn't going to make that much of a difference if you go over by 10. But the majority of days I've been staying under by about 100 odd. So, 10 of these. And I'm probably still going to be under by a little bit. Anyway, what I want to talk about now is sleep. Which is kind of like, well led on from me over sleeping this morning. Now, sleep is the most important time of day for anyone that does fitness. Now you're thinking, wait, hang on, I should, my most important time should be at the gym, right? Well, no. Most important time of day is when you're sleeping. REM sleep is when you're repairing, get ready for the next workout. Without sleep, you will not be able to hit the next workout. Now, yes, as important as that is, um, to hit the next workout, make sure you're able to do it. Because if you're overtired, undertired, um, you're not gonna be, well, undertired's not gonna be a problem. You can have like naps and stuff. It's when you're gonna grow the most. And your body's gonna fast the most. Your body's gonna be the most efficient after a decent night of sleep. So if you're getting two to four hours, change that up. If you're not, if you're getting six to eight, you're on point. If you're getting more than that, okay, maybe a bit of a waste. But if that's what your body needs, then that's what your body needs. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. And that's why I'm not mad at myself about this. Anyway, actually, another topic is getting mad at yourself, to be fair. If you've gone, had a cheat meal or something, but accidentally we're gonna have your calories accidentally. Don't worry about it too much. You can't change it, you can't sort of go, hey, um, that's me done, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore, blah, blah, blah. Don't get too disheartened by it and you'll be fine. Um, honestly, there's an old saying that my, my granddad used to tell me and my mum's also told me and my dad used to tell me, there's no point crying over spilled milk. What that means is you can't put the milk back in the bottle. So, I mean, even Rafiki teaches you that in The Lion King. Hits you over the head. Yeah, it hurt, but it's the past. Yeah, it may have lost you track. May it, uh, I don't, That's not even English. But you know what I mean. It may have made you go off track, but that's in the past. The only thing you can do now is not turn that, chip, that mess up into mess up week or a mess up... Uh, just just prevent it. Just n notify yourself of it. Know what you did. Learn from your mistakes and go again the next day. Or if it's the morning, then try and redeem yourself a little bit. If you can't, then so so be it. It's just something you're going to have to deal with. I'm walking back to the office now. It's just a nice day. Um, but yeah, it's don't get too caught up in it. It's important to stay on track. It's stay on, to stay on what you want and need to do. It's important to see progress, but at the same time, it's also important to live. So it's how can you live around the lifestyle? Yeah. Saw someone that um, I know. Yeah, so as I was saying, gym around the life, life around the gym. So make sure you do the first one rather than the second one. Lex Griffin quote, and mix it up every time. Lex Griffin is a great YouTuber. Definitely go check him out. Um, I know you probably don't need me to shout him out, but just in case none of you have heard of him, go check him out. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna head back to the office. It's been a nice day. Hopefully you've learned a little bit on this lunch break. I'm gonna start editing the 
first video back tonight, um, possibly, or unless I do my finances first. We'll see how well that works, because Kels is working Friday night and Saturday night, so I'm going to be um, on that editing grind now. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys when I get home, or on the way home. One of them. So guys, just quickly, I spoke to you a little bit at lunch about um, crying over spilt milk. <clears throat> now what I wanted to actually talk to you about with that is the way it can affect your progress when you do. Now, when you start crying over the little details, i.e. you put on 0.5 of a pound, you will then start to slowly get obsessed by it and you'll get disheartened. So by making sure that you're not getting too obsessed, too clingy to your body fat percentages and your weight and the numbers on the screen or whatever, you're then going to be on track for progress. If you do go over your macros by, I don't know, a gram or two, okay, it's not great, it's not ideal, but hell to it your body's different to everyone else's it might mean that tomorrow will be a better workout um the only thing that i will say that you need to be pedinkity with is your water intake in your sleep so you need to make sure you get enough sleep and you need to make sure you're drinking enough water they're not difficult things to do like they're something that your body needs anyway so be pernickety with those, make sure that your body's getting enough sleep. If you do a couple of days a week, maybe not get enough sleep, that's okay. Um, just providing yourself to catch it up. Your body will tell you with those sorts of things, like when you're thirsty, you're really getting dehydrated. When you're not thirsty, you could probably have a drink anyway, but, um, you know, it's just things like that. Just listen to your body and it will tell you exactly what to do. As for things like tests and stuff, just just go with it. Honestly, if you fail a test, it's not going to be the end of your life. Unless it's the test to say if you're a father or not. Anyway, um, which could possibly make your life better. Um, anyway, that's a different discussion. But yeah, so don't fret about the minutiae details too much until you're at that stage where you're getting paid for it or you're going on stage or something like that. So don't worry too much about it. I'm not gonna to worry too much about missing the gym this morning. I'm gonna make sure I hit it, hit legs and front delts tomorrow and I'm gonna to have a fantastic time about it. So I'll speak to you guys tomorrow morning.